Hi, Dr. J here. And up to this point during our conversations, we've discussed the role of faith, the role of developing faith muscle, and the role of forgiveness, all of which are designed to help you live a more fulfilling, a more joyful, and a healthier life. In the next few videos, I'd like for us to focus on relationships. The relationships that we have with our friends, our family, our spouse, our partner, but first and foremost, what's the relationship like that you have with yourself? And, and what I mean by that is this, what is it that you actually think about yourself? What is it that you actually say to yourself? And, and I believe and I contend with, with a high level of certainty based on my experience of working with you know, hundreds, if not thousands of people you know, to help achieve different goals in their life is that more times than not, people have a very self-depreciating or negative internal dialogue about themselves. You know, they, they run a, a story that someone else told them or, or they bought into, you know, that they're fat, that they're ugly, they're stupid, that they'll never, never be able to achieve certain things, that they're stuck in the relationships and the, and the scenarios and the work and the career path that they're in because that's just the way it is. And the more you run that pattern of thought, the more you run those, those actions, the more you um, run those, those constant reinforcement of those negative patterns, the more it becomes real. It's almost like you're a self-fulfilling prophecy. And here's what I mean by that. And I'm going to use a real life example to illustrate that. Now, I have four children. I have three daughters and a boy. And uh, we're going to take just one of my daughters, for example, on this story. So let's just say, this is not true at all by any means, but let's just say, for instance, that um, my daughter, my oldest daughter, that every single day since she was able, since she was little, every single day that she got up, I told her that she was fat, that she was ugly, and that she was stupid. And every single day, multiple times a day, she heard that from me. Regardless if she became the valedictorian of her high school class and got letters of you know, scholarship offers all over the country, regardless if she had physical beauty that would be worthy of a, a model contract or put it on a face of a magazine, what do you think she's going to feel about herself deep down? When all she's heard from me, someone that she cares about and loves every single day of her life, that she's fat, that she's ugly, and that she's stupid. Even on the outside, she's beautiful and smart by the world standards. What do you think she's going to believe about herself? Yeah, exactly. That she's fat, she's ugly, and she's stupid. See, the same thing is occurring when you allow your own internal voice, your own internal dialogue to constantly repeat to yourself that you're not good enough, that you're not worthy enough, that you're stuck in the situations you're in, or whatever story you continue to tell yourself. Every day that you continue to use these words or, or choose to use these phrases or choose to live through these belief systems, you're only creating more reality behind that story. And so my challenge to everyone here is this. First and foremost, start becoming more conscious of the words that you choose when you're describing yourself. And as you do that, I'm going to encourage you to literally start replacing those words with more positive words. Or being just very truthful with the, what the situation is or the scenario is. Meaning this, it's not that you're broke, it's not that you know, you're a, a train wreck, or it's not that you're a mess. Those aren't, true, those aren't true statements. They're a story. What the truth is that, you know, I've made some bad decisions along the way with regards to my finances, but you know what, I'm committed to making some more appropriate ones. It's not that you're a train wreck, it's just, you know, I've made some bad decisions with respect to, you know, the job choice or this relationship I got into, and I've learned from them, I'm going to grow from them. And it's not that you're stuck in any scenario, it's, it's the truth is, again, I've made some decisions that may not have been the best for me at that time, but I'm choosing to learn from them and I'm going to choose to take different actions so I can get unstuck this year. See, it's just a switch of the mind and a switch of the words you choose, but when you start to reframe your perspective first and then reframe the words that you choose, remember the words that you say you're hearing and it's going to rank back into your head. 
So I'm gonna, my encouragement again is to start to watch the words that you're saying to yourself first. Start replacing them with more positive words, more affirmations. Affirm right now what you want to have them. Tell yourself the truth in advance. Start affirming every morning and every night that, listen, I'm on the path for, for greatness. I'm getting healthier. I'm getting stronger. I'm, a, I'm achieving my ideal weight naturally and easily, and it's permanently going to stay with me. I'm achieving uh, optimal financial health through you know, proper planning and proper execution of fi my financial goals. I'm madly in love with my spouse and my partner or my wife or my husband, whoever the case may be, and reaffirm these things over and over and over again. And stop letting the garbage fill your mind up because what's going to happen is those are like weeds in your garden. If you don't continue to pluck those weeds, they're going to overtake your garden. And instead of having beautiful plants or beautiful vegetables, you're going to have a garden full of weeds and that's your mind. And unfortunately, when that mind turns that way, that's what's going to happen to your life. So my hope and encouragement is first and foremost, start watching the words that are coming out of your mouth, replace them with more empowering words, and then see how it starts to change your energy and your perspective for this week and the many weeks to come. Again, I hope this information helps or blesses many of you, and I look forward to speaking to you again in the future. Take care. Have a great day.